Hey guys, little uh, little addendum I'm doing right here. Um, I know uh, if you want to see part one of my magical adventure this week, then uh, I guess I'll put the link right at the top, but um, in the description, whatever. Uh, I just went to the store and picked up a few more books, just figured I'd share them with you guys. Um, first one I'm going to share is Great Lake Avengers. Anthony told me about this one, and uh, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you don't know the concept, oh no, my comics are falling. And oh, no, it's so sad. Um, basically, they're just screw up Avengers. Um, they're awful superheroes, and it's funny. Uh, and I thought this book was really good. Um, basically, the joke of it is that uh, because of the whole Civil War thing going on and the Avengers disassembling, um, the trademark for Avengers went to the next person, and since they were the uh, the Great Lake Avengers were the second ones to file for a patent on the Avengers. They, um, well, they get it, and <laughs> a representative from the Avengers comes up to them and is like, can we buy it back? And then, in return, they're in the in, in exchange, they become a represented uh, group of the Avengers, which is kind of awesome. Now, um, I don't know much about Great Lake Avengers. I, I did find, I always love these sorts of things. There's, uh, there's a really funny art screw-up. They're here. See, uh, see Flatman? His, uh, costume is, like, blue and black right here. But, uh, in this panel right here, they have his entire costume as black for some reason, which is kind of weird. Um, I'm assuming maybe that he had, like, I don't know, maybe this panel was done before with some other design because if you... Oh, wait, no, that's actually the cup right here. Oh, no, this is just a screw-up then. Whoever colored this just colored his whole costume black, which is really weird. <laughs> but, um... I don't know, I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, not really, I guess. I don't know if you're intrigued. But I, I always like looking at that kind of stuff. Not that it's like, you know, it's whatever. People make mistakes. I'm not blaming them for anything. I'm just saying that kind of stuff intrigues me. Um, but yeah, it gets really cool. And Oh, it's a cool issue. I might... I don't know if I'm going to start pulling it or not. Um, I liked it, though. Uh, this is one of those issues that... Or this is one of those series that, like... I don't know. I'm probably not going to end up pulling it just because there's so many other series that I just like more that I would rather pull, but I don't, I'm not going to not buy it just purely out of hate because I don't hate this at all. I think it's actually really good, um, but I, I just don't think I'll be uh, pulling it from now on. Um, next two. Let's see. This, these next two are actually in their bags and boards just because I didn't feel like taking them out. Uh, I feel like the highlight, highlight of the week uh, Detective Comics, the end of Night of the Monster Men, and, uh, this is great. I'm gonna talk about these more in some Halloween stuff, but just so you are aware, I do have it, uh, and it was awesome. I, uh, uh, it, it's, I feel like this last issue, I mean, and don't get me wrong, it wasn't a horrible issue, I just felt like, in regards to the previous five issues, I felt like the ending was a little weird. Um, the Hugo Strange stuff was cool, but, like, them defeating the monster, I feel like that was a little, mm, you know, a little anticlimactic. I don't know. I don't actually totally understand what happened. Uh, I did rush it a little bit when I read it, but, um, like, I still think I got the gist of it. Uh, I, I, like, I think I understood it pretty well, but, uh, you know, written by Orlando T. Onion, the fourth McDonald Ranch. It's that's really funny. <laughs> McDonald Ranch for some reason. Oh my god, I'm dumb. And where's that last book? Here we go. This uh a very surprising highlight from the week. Not that it's you know, this series is typically pretty good, but like uh Deadpool number twenty. My god was this book fantastic. In fact, I'm gonna show you guys the inside. Um just because it's kind of important. Uh Alright. Let's see. So, um, this is actually, uh, strangely enough, it's a one-off about suicide prevention. They even have the suicide prevention hotline in the end. Um, really wasn't expecting that, but very interesting character to choose to do something like this. And Deadpool, like this girl, you'll see in the beginning, uh, this girl is getting ready to jump off of a thing. And she, Deadpool comes in and basically makes a ton of jokes about it. And, uh, <laughs> and it's horrifying. It's like the darkest comedy ever. <laughs> um... But uh, what's cool about it is that it kind of brings up this point of that, you know, not everybody has a, you know, I guess a superhero 
to save them from jumping off a cliff. And a lot of times you get this guy, you get Deadpool, an asshole who just likes to make jokes about it. Um, and it kind of just makes like a really, I don't know. Uh, I guess kind of the point, there's so much, there's so many ways you can read into this. This is actually, this might be turning into one of my favorite single issues, like, well, I guess of the year, since I don't really have any sing or oh, of all time, I guess, since I don't really have many single issues, but definitely of the year, <laughs> um, you know, but basically both are the same thing. Anyways, um, and he, Deadpool just takes her around to screw with people and it's hysterical. This issue is absolutely hysterical, but, uh, and it, you know, it ends with him trying to get her help and, uh, has a great image on that end. I'm not going to spoil the last page for you because it's just a great visual metaphor. <laughs> um, this book is just awesome. Like, I'm so happy I'm picking this up. I might actually start picking up, uh, Deadpool because I... I don't know why I don't. I love Deadpool, like, to death. I really should be picking it up. But, uh, very glad I got this one off. Uh, I'm super happy about that. So, uh, that's the end of today. I, um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna be doing schedule-wise here. I'm gonna start doing Halloween stuff. There was a, uh, I don't think it was actually released in stores, unfortunately. Oh, that's right! I was not able to pick up X-Files, by the way. The other store I went to didn't have it either, so. Fuck. Um... Yeah, I'm going to try to find some uh, Halloween books. There was a uh, Dark Horse and a few other comic book things. Uh, they were doing um, books for Halloween. So, like, one of them was, like, you know, I had a pumpkin on it. That was the Dark Horse one. I was thinking about picking that up. But I think you had to go to, like, a special event or something and get that. Unfortunately. Shit. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to review some Del Hellboy stuff. Um... Uh, Long Halloween, I guess, is kind of easy to talk about. We're definitely doing Night of the Monster Men, a big Halloween, uh, shop for that. Uh, I don't know what else, but, um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, and, um, I don't know, what's a shitty outro phrase I can say? Well, I'll flip to your page next time. Ciao! <laughs>